Hi booktube, my name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with a very exciting announcement video. I have been teasing about this for the past few weeks and I am super excited to finally be sitting down here and talking to you guys about it. So if you couldn't tell from the title, I am here to announce a readathon that I am co-hosting with my best friend Brie. This is the Categorically Romance Readathon and it is going to run from June the 5th to June the 20th. So it's 16 days of category romance reading fun. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some prompts for this. I will be popping a copy of the prompt board up here on your screen a little bit later on the video or uh, later in the video, excuse me. I want to go through all the prompts first and then I will show you guys the cute little graphic I put together. And yeah, so there is a link in the description box below um, to grab a copy of the prompt board if you would like one yourself. So this is kind of the brainchild of Brie and I. It's, it's a jump off of, of course, of our podcast, the Categorically Romance podcast that we host. That video, our new episodes come out a couple times a week. Uh, link in the description box below to where you can find us there. So over the past number of years in the summertime, I've usually hosted a romance-centric readathon. I've been doing it since the start of my channel. So this will be like the sixth year that I'm doing something like this. So the first like four years I was doing almost an entire summer long readathon. Um, the summer romance book bingo essentially is what I was doing. And then last year I kicked it down to just one month. It was for the month of August. And then this year I'm doing something a little bit different. Just Brie and I are hosting. It's going to be so, so, so much fun. Um, and essentially what we're here to do is to encourage everybody to read category romance. Because when I used to do those readathons, I always had the prompt read a category romance. And a lot of people didn't really know what that was. They didn't understand, um, which is fine because if it's not something that you're used to reading, you wouldn't know that that's what these are called, that that's, you've seen them a hundred times in your Walmart or your grocery store or your pharmacy or on the shelves of your local bookstore, but you didn't know that that's what these were. And that's fine. If you're not part of, you know, if you didn't really read them, you wouldn't necessarily know that that's what they were called, right? So we're here to share the love of them. And what I'm noticing over the last year or so is that there are a lot more people getting into category. Um, and I'm seeing so many great book hauls on Instagram and on BookTube and people talking about these books. And I think it's great. And I think they deserve their very own readathon. So like I said, there are five prompts to this. However, if you don't want to do any of the prompts, you don't have to. As long as you read some category romance over the course of the readathon, you have participated and that is good enough. So Brie and I are actually going to be doing a live show on the 5th of June, the kickoff day for this. Uh, we'll be there to answer any questions that you guys might have. We're going to share our own TBRs. It's going to be a lot of fun. Just the two of us kind of sitting around for an hour gushing our love of all things category romance. So I hope you guys are going to join us for that. I'm not absolutely certain what time yet, probably around two or three in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. For those of you who are overseas, would you prefer us to go a little bit earlier, like, you know, 11 or noon or something like that? Do let me know. I want to work around you guys. If there's enough of you that want to see it live who are overseas and, you know, two or three in the afternoon is just a bit too late. Um, Eastern Standard, do let me know. We will work and see what we can do to accommodate everybody. So, yay. So, Let's get into the prompts, you guys. I am so excited. So the very first prompt is to read a book that is published in 2021. Pretty self-explanatory. Any, this would be Harlequin, any Harlequin novel, Harlequin category romance novel published in 2021. So I just have a couple of them here to show you guys as an example. So we have How to Win the Wild Billionaire by Josh Wood. This is a Harlequin Presents novel. It was published in May of 2020. 2021, excuse me. Then we have Cold Case Flashbacks by Janice K. Johnson. This was also published in May of 2021. So another newer release. And then The Tycoon's Unexpected Caribbean Fling by Ella Hayes. This came out in April of 2021. So there's just a couple of them. So that was a romance, an intrigue, and a presents novel. So yeah, there's there's a lot here. Um, there's a lot for you guys to choose from. If you go on the Harlequin website, I'll link that below have a look around. There is a ton of great stuff and they always have great sales on and yada, yada, yada. You can find a ton there. The second prompt is, um, 
own voices, essentially. So read an author of color, for one. Um, the great Katie Richards, she has just the one book out right now, but she's got an, uh, the sequels coming out later this year. Pursuit of the Truth. Um, I read this one. Bree has read this one. I gave this five stars. I absolutely loved it. There's, of course, the great Brenda Jackson, Naima Simone, J.C. Lee. I, I mean, just there's a ton of great authors of color who are currently writing for the Harlequin lines. Definitely check them out. Um, also, um, not just authors of color, of course, but we also have um, neurodiverse. Uh, Amanda Sinelli, her new book comes out in June, and I am going to get myself a copy of it, and it's called Stolen in Her Wedding Gown. And it, our main character in that story, I believe, is autistic, and Amanda Sinelli herself is as well. So there's an own voices. Also, McKenna Lee, um, her first book that came out for Harlequin last year, called The Sheriff's Star, which does look like, I, I'll have the covers popped up here for you guys. It does look like it would be a Christmas book, but Christmas takes place at the very, very end. So if you're not a seasonal reader and you can read Christmas stuff whenever, I highly recommend you pick this one up. In this story, our our male, our female lead is the mum to a, um, a child with Down syndrome, and McKenna Lee is also the mother of a child with Down syndrome. So that works as well. Just a couple of suggestions. If you guys can find anything else, do let us know. Shout it out in the comments below. Also, if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below. The next prompt is to read a book published prior to 2000. <laughs> so all of you who have been hauling these old Harlequin romances, now is the time to start reading them. <laughs> so a book published prior to 2000. So there is a ridiculous amount of books that you guys can choose from. I mean, if you're stuck go to your local thrift store, peruse the shelves where the Harlequins are. The dates are always listed on the side. So for example, here you can see it says February, let me focus on that, February of 2021. So you should see that, you know, for all the books. So just take a peruse through, see if you can find something earlier than 2020, 20, 2000, excuse me, and pick it up. The other suggestion I have is if you can find these best-selling author collections. Now, these are new releases, fairly new releases. This one I know was just published, uh, Fever Pitch by Cheryl Woods. And this one came out maybe a year or so ago, Dem Denim and Diamonds by Debbie Maycomer. So these are a two-in-one. So you get two books in each of these. And for example, for this one, for Fever Pitch, Fever Pitch, that story, was originally published in 89, 1991, and it was part of the Desire line of all things. So that one would fit. If you pick this book up in your store and you read fe the book Fever Pitch, it would count for that prompt. Also, this one, uh, Denim and Diamonds by Debbie Maycomer, um, the Denim and Diamonds story was originally published back in, was this one 89? I think one of them was 89. Am I off? This one was 89 for the special edition line. So again, if you picked up this book in your store and read that first book, it would count for the read a book prior to 2000. I read one earlier this year, uh, a best-selling author collection called The Matter of Circumstance by Heather Graham. You guys know how much I love Heather Graham. And the story A Matter of Circumstance was published in 1986. So it would fit for that prompt as well. So again, just some suggestions on where you can find these. Just when you, when you look, when you pick these up, just open up the inside front cover and here on this page, it will show you the original publication date of both of the stories within. So you're looking for something prior to 2000. Um, the next prompt, this is the one I'm really excited about, is to read a book from a line that is no longer being published. And all of my D.A.R.E. fans out there, Dare is not going to count for this one. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Dare line from Harlequin ends in June. Their last publication month is in June. Because the readathon is happening in June, it's still a current line. So I'm not counting it as a line that is no longer with us, essentially. But you have lots to pick from. So I have just a few suggestions here for you guys. So first of all, we have the Blaze books. Everyone loves the Blaze books. So yeah, if you can find one of these, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, these are just so, so, so good. Um, the next one, the Kiss line. This line didn't run for very long, but you could often find them in your thrift stores. So there is the book, uh, one of the books. This is Sleeping with the Soldier by Charlotte Phillips. So yeah, that was a great line. This is a great line for it does get a little bit sexy, but this is a great kind of a rom-com kind of an idea. 
Um, the next one was a personal favorite of mine, which is the American Romance line. I did love these so much. They were republished towards the end of their run as the Western Romance line. So it is the same thing in case you guys are curious. So yeah, so there is a couple. I'm just trying to see if any of these were published before 2000 so I can show you that. The next line, this line was really fun and it didn't last very long either. This is the Silhouette Bombshell line. So the Silhouette books would absolutely count as well. So if you are in your bookstore and for example, the Silhouette uh, Desire used to be published underneath Silhouette as did Special Edition was Silhouette at one point. So if you see that, do know it's the same thing that's currently being published. I know it can get confusing. Again, if you guys have any questions, just reach out to me, please. Um, and I'm happy to answer anything. So this is What Stella Wants by Nan Nancy Bartholomew. This is a great series. This is, um, I think there was two books in this series. And uh, the other one was called Stella Get Your Gun, I think. And these are essentially books that says strong, sexy, suspenseful. So like women, like um, bounty hunters, assassins. They did have some paranormal elements in some of them. Um, speaking of which, the Nocturne line would also count for this prompt. Um, I didn't grab one of those off my shelf, sorry. The Temptation line from Harlequin, which is something that I think some people are just starting to find now. And this was great. If you loved Blaze, you're going to love Temptation. Very, very similar. Um, when Blaze left, uh, Blaze and uh, Temptation and Blaze kind of were both being published briefly for the same time for the same time period, and then eventually um, Temptation was discontinued, I guess, and Blaze continued on. Now Blaze is gone. So yeah, if you love the Blaze, you'll love these ones. And then a couple that are non Harlequin specific. So there is the Love Swept. Uh, they did a huge run of category romance books. I'll find one and pop a picture of it up here. Again, I have a couple of them on my shelf, but I wasn't able to get my hands on them for this video. <laughs> my shelves are a mess and I'm really trying to get them in order. Another one, though, is the Signet Regency Romances. Uh, Steve Donahue, I'm looking at you if you're watching this video. These would absolutely count for this as well um, because there were so many of these published every month. They're not numbered on the outside, but I think that they were numbered maybe at some point I don't know um yeah I'm not absolutely certain uh but they're not numbered on the cover or anything like that but these would absolutely count these are chaste these are historical romances that are very chaste the most you're going to get from one of these is like a handhold or something like that um and also do note I haven't talked about them here but the love inspired books would absolutely count and the love inspired suspense would also count as category Okay, so if you run across these, for those of you who are more into the Christian fiction, those would work. And the last one is this Coventry romance. This is The Romantic Widow by Molly Chappelle, um, a Victorian love story. So these are numbered here. So there's the number. Um, so again, this would count as a category. There are a ton, especially if you get into these old ones, you're going to find an absolute ton of these that... Um, a lot of different publishers published their own version of like a category romance at some point. So this one was published in what year? This has got to be prior to two, 1978. <laughs> it would definitely work for prior to 2000. And this one, the, uh, the signet book was published in, uh, 1999. So it just hits the mark. If you can get your hands on this one. And the very last prompt, excuse me for reaching, um, I do have visuals for you guys. The very last prompt, because it's summertime and it's the start of summer and everyone's excited about, you know, summertime, is to read a book with a summery cover. So I would even count something like, if the word summer is in the title, but just a cover that makes you think of summer. So just a couple of examples, you guys. We have this old book by Muriel Jensen, That Summer in Maine. I mean, come on, they're on a beach. You can't get more summer than that. This was published in, oh my gosh, where are my glasses? 2003, so it wouldn't quite hit that prior to 2000 mark, but there's that one. And then there's this one. Again, I already mentioned Amanda Sinelli, but here's another one of her books, The Vows He Must Keep. Like, look at that cover on a beach with the boat. It's, that just says summertime, does it not? And last but not least, an older Harlequin Presents novel. Um, this is from 1991, so this would count to prior to 2000. We have Shadow Across the Moon by Yvonne, Whit um, Yvonne Whittle. So look at that cover. Laying by the pool. I mean, that's summer, right? So, I mean, that's a pretty self-explanatory um, prompt. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for this video today. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Oh, 
the prompt board. Let me put the pretty prompt board up here for you guys to check out. Um, I am so excited about this and I do hope that you guys are going to join us. Like I said, Brie and I are going to do a live show on the 5th of June, um, kind of just chatting category, answering any questions you guys might have, sharing our TBRs. Um, again, if you have any questions, post them below. I will answer them here, but then I'll also keep note of them and I'll also answer them during the live show so that in case anyone else has that question as well, um, everybody can have the answer to it. Um, and yeah, I am so, so, so excited. So, you know, this, this being done, we do, I do already have that. I'm thinking in December, we might do a mini holiday categorically romance readathon for like a week or something like that. So do keep that in mind for the holidays, because the one thing that category romance does well are holiday releases. So <laughs> we want to share all of that with you guys. But anyway, that's it for this video. Again, any questions, post them below. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.